if we keep up this ratio in the player's choice crate, we will get, I kid you not, over 50 black markets in that one stack. Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today we are back for another double upload. It feels like 2017. I am Gas, as you can see in the bottom left corner of your screen. I'm rocking the new Power Surge player banner. Today in this video, it's not Rocket Pass related. We're doing a painted items only Rocket Pass video tomorrow on the channel. I would have done it tonight. I'm that excited, but I need to just relax a little bit today. We're going to be going back in and opening a load more blueprints because as you can see, we have got thousands today. I need to ascertain what it is we're going to be doing today. You know what? I think I'm going to open Shattered Intrudium Neuroagitator Glorifier. I'm going to open all of these Vindicator Blueprints and then after these 200 we'll just go from there. If you didn't see my previous Blueprint video we got all this stuff as you can see and uh, yeah it's pretty hype and I think this is going to be sort of like a best items only style of video. As you can see I've got 6,000 Blueprints which is just ridiculous so I'm buzzing. Before we go any further, if I could just ask you to drop me a quick like on the video. It really helps the channel and lets me know that you enjoy these blueprint videos. There's a load more that we've got to make. I'm going to be making them throughout the month of December. December's going to be a hype, hype month. I'm interested to see where videos and content goes going into January when all the... the unrevealed blueprints are gone. It's going to be interesting, going to be kind of scary, but we can enjoy the hype for now at least. And before I do get into opening and revealing these blueprints and buying any, I'll, I'll probably buy any black markets because they're not too bad price-wise, you know, uh, for the most part. I am going to give a shout out to the sponsors of the channel, Logger.com, because without them, videos like this would not be possible. I wouldn't have thousands of blueprints. I wouldn't have the credits to make these blueprints or anything like that. So I'm going to play the sponsored intro. Head over there, check them out. Use discount code Pixel to save yourself some money. You guys have been supporting them a ton lately. They really appreciate it. They've been telling me that business is booming, so I really appreciate it. And let's just have a great time today, chilling and opening some blueprints, trying to get some more black markets, because our black market count for blueprints is currently one. All of the new Rocket League update content has been brought to you by Lolga.com. If you don't know who they are, you can basically buy gift cards from their shop for cheaper than they are actually worth if you use the discount code PIXEL for 6% off your purchase. If you want to buy V-Bucks in Fortnite or credits in Rocket League, all of that stuff, you can head over there to Lolga and be sure to use the discount code to save yourself some money. You guys have been supporting them a ton lately and it really does mean a lot to me and makes videos like this possible. So now, let's get into the video. Okay, Truncheon's kicking it off. That hopefully, this is this is now the morning after the initial update. Obviously, you're seeing this the day after the update. So, I'm going to see if I can blast through these. I don't even see what I just got. What did I just get? I, I don't know. I swear, if that is a black market. Wait. Uh, show archived quality black market. Okay, I don't think it was a black market. So, I didn't miss anything there. But I think, as this is the morning after, I should be able to just go through at this speed. And the server, like, allow it. Which means I'll be able to blast through. We got some titanium white picket wheels there. So yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to get all these vindicators out the way. And then maybe, I guess, we could we could do vindicators and totally awesome today. And then in another video, I could do all my velocities. I'll probably need to do a few players choice uh, here and there. Because there's going to be so much stuff. But this is it. And I will be showing you the best of the best. I'm having... So much fun recording these videos for you all. It's just, it's so awesome. If I look, I look at my phone and I'm getting notifications from YouTube saying, your video is really taking off. Your audience seems to be really interested in this type of content. Keep it up. And I'm like, they are interested. I'm interested. Obviously, it makes sense. The videos yesterday doing extremely well. It's a new update. And we haven't had a big update day on Rocket League like this for what feels like a long time, because if you weren't around back in, I would say 2017, 2016, towards the end it was getting started, and that's when I was getting started on YouTube making Rocket League videos, but this used to be what every single update on Rocket League was like. It wasn't just a small little update. There was the Turbo Crate update in March, around about the time I hit 100,000 subscribers. Yo! Titanium White Neoyos. Okay. Damn! I'm going to save that for now. I might keep it. I might keep it and, and send it and give it to one of you guys. But that is dope. That is dope. Another white exotic in back-to-back -back blueprint videos. That's not too bad. Surely we're going to be getting a white sombra at some point. Um, you know, then there was in, I believe it was July, the Overdrive crate update when they first released black markets that weren't decals with the gold explosions, Hellfire, Sub-Zero, Electroshock, and what was the other one? Hellfire, Sub-Zero, Electroshock. What was it? What am I forgetting? 
What am I forgetting? Let me... Wait, look, do I have an overdrive? This is so cheating, but... Fireworks! How did I forget fireworks? But yes, this crate came out. That was a hyped update. Then we had the Accelerator crate not long after. Velocity, Jewel and Dragons. Every update was like this. More recently this year, the updates have been kind of okay. Rocket Passes have been decent. New crates have been hyped, but this is just, there's so much happening here. Item Shop has been a bit underwhelming. I don't get why they said in the, 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 the teasers that they did, they were like... This is going to, this is not the final design. It's for illustrative purposes only. And then they literally take that picture and that is the first item shop. I guess when they say illustrative purposes only, they were referring to the salty banner in the daily item shop because there are no drop items in the daily item shop. And that is something I was curious about because you're supposed to still be able to trade up drop items. But if it's in the item shop, you won't be able to. There's a lot of outrage in terms of the blueprint pricing. I had a feeling and I did call that leading up to this update that um they would have sort of fixed prices they wouldn't be able to discriminate too much between a white exotic and a burnt sienna exotic for instance they have changed it a little bit white is a tiny bit more valuable but not to the extent where it would it was determined by the market but i do have a few points i want to make a few points that you guys also made in the comments that i want to speak about in a video very soon so i will be doing that um, so it's all very, very exciting. We've got Rocket Pass videos coming up. I will sprinkle in gameplay here and there. And I, I am, I am a bit nervous for the new year though, because like I said, once all these blueprints have been revealed, which is going to be a long time because we've got thousands of blueprints here. We haven't really got a lot today. We got the white Neoyos to be fair. Um, but once all these are done, I guess there'll be golden crate openings maybe weekly, but then it's really going to be interesting to see where the content goes and, and what you guys are looking for, though, because to be fair, once you guys can't open crates anymore or blueprints or anything like that, your interest in Rocket League will change. So, basically, I guess whatever you guys are interested in, that's what we that's the avenue we can kind of pursue. We got another painted Neoyo. That's not too bad. Another Neoyo. We've almost done a Titanium White Truncheon. We've almost done 100 Titanium White Clodhoppers. What's going on? Okay, so we can check. We got white clodhoppers and burnt sienna. We finally got the uh, the two. So crimson 400, white 400, burnt sienna. Okay, so for the rare wheels, at least, it doesn't make a difference, the color, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I've done 100 blueprints now. Saffron Neoyos. We're getting a load of painted exotics, not going to lie. And I've got quite a few credits, you know. So I will look into building. Maybe I'll, I'll, I could do... That would be quite cool. A building... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, obviously, I'll give away certain black market blueprints and stuff. But maybe once I've done all of the blueprint revealing videos, I could do a building items video. That'd be quite sick. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cut now to the best sort of highlights of the Vindicator blueprints and totally awesome blueprints. So 275 blueprints. I've had a lot of comments saying that you've got a lot of black markets. I've probably done... About 600 blueprints, 500 blueprints maybe to this point and had the one. So there's got to be some good luck left in these somewhere. So I'm excited. And then we've got another video for Nitro blueprints. Oh, there's so many videos we can make. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. Why is it as soon as I stop revealing blueprints and then go back to do it, it takes an eternity? Why Why is... I don't like that. That, that. Less of that, please. What? Okay, the color of that blueprint kind of messed me up. I was like, surely that's painted. We got ourselves some creepers. 94 more to go. We're back in. There was a little blip with, I guess, the the Rock League servers. I don't think it was my internet, actually, this time, which is kind of uh, kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to be opening a bunch more blueprints, revealing more blueprints. And, yeah, maybe I did make um, the first black market from a blueprint I got. I did build that. I think I... Did I also build the Infiniums? I don't know if I did, actually. The white Infiniums. I might have just kept the blueprint. Let me just check real quick. Uh, in. Infiniums. Yeah, I've still got the blueprint. So, yeah, I haven't really built a lot. So, I'm going to keep it that way and then maybe either build it later on or give you guys away a bunch of blueprints, all that sort of thing. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I'm going to get sick of doing this by the end. 4,000 players' choice blueprints. We've got over 5,000 blueprints still to reveal. So, we're not even 10% of the way through. And I can already see that this is going to get slightly frustrating. Oh, there we go. A shattered blueprint from the Vindicator series. It's not painted. Okay, not painted. We've had two black markets now. Neither of them have been painted. But still, a black market blueprint nonetheless. That's still hype. Revealing a black market blueprint. It looks so good. I'm, I'm here for that. I like that. Thank you, Vindicator. You've really hooked me up with the black market so far. Let's keep it rolling. We've got painted truncheons. We've got the canner blueprint. 
Don't mind that. Ninja Star. Inject it into my veins. Less of the rares, please. Don't want to see that. Okay, we're going to... Also, one thing I didn't touch on yesterday. Special edition items do cost more to create as well. If I go down to Picket, where about are the picket items uh oh here we go here we go so uh regular uh, where's a regular picket wheel okay 500 a thousand oh that's that's painted special edition to be fair that's 800 800 so special edition and paint are also the like the the same they increase the item by the same amount so if you've got a white special edition p sim that will upgrade by quite a lot i think that might be 2100 credits to make uh, so more than white zombies for uh, for a P-SIM, which is uh, because of, you know, the special edition, which is interesting. And I did actually get that in a trade-up video very, uh, very recently. Okay, regular creepers. Not a lot of exotics this time around. 20 more-ish Vindicator blueprints to go. Then we'll do all the totally awesome and end this blueprint video here. We have got a black market. We have got a white exotic, so... You know, I can't complain. That's already as good as last night's one was, and we still got the entire Totally Awesome series to go. We're cooking now. We got some speed. Last blueprint from the Vindicator series. Give me the Totally Awesome. So we can actually get the P-Sims here. Shattered, Hextide, Magma, Voxel. Oh, there's some good black markets in this bad boy. Oh, Black Scorer Stellars. Not a bad start. Let's keep it rolling. Oh! Oh, it's not painted, but we did get a hex type blueprint. Imagine that was painted. Oh, okay. So it's usually one in four that are painted. We've had three. So hopefully the next one will be the painted black market. But man, that came up. It looks so good. The black market blueprints look so good. I love seeing it. You love to see it. And we still have 160 more to go. A really good start. We got the goop blueprint. How could we forget about the goop? The crackle. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Best part is, doesn't cost me a penny. I, I say it doesn't cost me a penny. It cost me a pretty penny before the update to buy all these crates. But at least now, it feels like it doesn't. It's like when you go on holiday, you know, in preparation for your week or two weeks away in a different country with different currency, you might get a certain amount of euros, a certain amount of dollars. And then all of a sudden, once you've paid for that, it then feels like you're living the whole holiday for free because your bank balance, the whole time you're away, say you're away for two weeks and you've got your spending money, your bank balance stays the same. But you're still living up, living large, spending your money. But your bank balance isn't going down. So every time I buy anything with cash, it I feel like I haven't spent any money. And it's such a dangerous way to live. But it just does feel that way because your bank account is exactly the same. That's what this feels like right now. It's as if I'm getting all these items for free. Oh, another hex tide. There we go. The voice crack is real. Four down another black market i knew we'd be getting some more black markets as time went on and there's then like i said four thousand unrevealed players choice blueprints it's gonna be so hype we've done like 40 totally awesome blueprints got two black markets we got one in the vindicator let's keep it rolling let's try and get at least one more by the end of the video i think that would be suffice to say uh, a good a good haul of black markets for this one video way better than yesterday's video white exotics Three black markets at least. I'm buzzing with that for sure. Ooh, okay. Sniper infinite Zephrams. I wonder how much that costs to make. Let's scroll all the way down. Uh, where are we at? 1,900. 1,400. It's literally plus 500 for the special edition. I think it's plus 500 for special edition, plus 200 for paint, and then plus 600 for white. Let me check real quick that we can still do trade-ups from this sort of series you can you actually can so yeah you can still do trade-ups for the for the drop series just to confirm all right okay there's an exotic to break everything up can we get that fourth black market come on give us the good stuff it's just nice to know that i'm revealing these blueprints and i don't have to sit through a bunch of crate openings just to get all this garbage you know what i mean i can at least see the trash that i get quicker <laughs> okay we've got ourselves a pink fennec not too bad, not too bad. I've got a few opinions on the new blueprint update and certain ways I want to address the points and criticism that people are making, but I want to save it for a separate video. But there are a few things I want to say that I think in the heat of the moment, even myself didn't look at in terms of the update. Obviously, most people are just freaking out about everything, saying that it's overpriced, blah, 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 prices are ruined. I do have an argument against that, but I'm going to save it for a video coming up very, very soon on the channel, I think. 
Yo! Magma! <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> There's the fourth black market right near the end. Ten more to go. If we could get a fifth, that would be insane. But of course, it doesn't really matter anymore. Totally awesome and vindicator completed more or less yo another black market let's go that's five black markets that is so sick if we keep up this ratio in the player's choice crate we will get i kid you not over 50 black markets in that one stack that is absolutely insane but there we go that is going to do it for this video if i go to black market now Okay, look at that. Looking juicy, I do have to say so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave all these here. I'm not going to build any more. I'm going to keep them absolutely buzzing with that. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.